than 11, a testimonial for the Dons' record goal scorer, Alan Cork. The most famous prize in soccer came home to Plough Lane, the sort of surroundings it's managed to avoid so far. After yesterday's big turnout in the town centre, this was a gathering of the faithful, the 7,000 odd who turn out, whatever the weather. They'd come to see the cup and pay tribute to Alan Cork, one of the quiet men who won the day at Wembley. After 10 years' service, his testimonial season could hardly have ended on a higher note. I've had two of the best days that you could wish anyone ever to have. And tonight, it's uh, another great night. Cork played tonight, after a fashion, still feeling the effects of two days of celebrations. Saturday's goalkeeping hero played in typical Wimbledon style, while the smallest man in the team looked after Dave Besant's goal. Even manager Bobby Gould turned out, and as managers do the world over, he was taking things very seriously. Players have got to enjoy this evening, enjoy the break, get back down to earth and get their feet on the ground, because we want to go back to Wembley in the future. And if you don't work hard, you don't get anywhere. Tonight's less than hard workout ended to all. Cork scored at both ends and looks set to take the cup home with him. Peter Staunton.